Hey guys, what's up, it's your screwed in. Today, I'll be bringing you guys a new video. Now, in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to log into PG Sharp, essentially, with your Google account. Now, this requires, obviously, a few things, and I'm gonna be going over that. Now, this is a very easy process, so I'm not gonna drag the video out too much, but, uh, at the, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over the process of how to do it beforehand, and then after that, I'm gonna go over some tips that I would give for people trying to use PG Sharp uh, with their Google account. So very, very quickly, let's go over what we need. Let's go to menu here. All right, so as you can see here in the library, I have two versions of Pokemon Go. One version is the one I downloaded from pgsharp.com. Now you can download this at pgsharp.com slash download. The link will be in the description below. The version that I'm running this is pgsharp 1.6.0. So if you want to reference this video, just know that that's the version that I'm using. The second version is Pokemon Go from the, uh, it was a Samsung Galaxy store. Yeah. So. Uh, if you're on an Android device, uh, you go to the Galaxy Store and you can you can search it. You just go Pokemon Go, download it. Boom, simple. It is a different. Ver it's a different. Set. Essentially, the your phone treats it as a diff different application from the from the app uh, apps uh, Play Store one, and this is very important. So it allows you to smoothly transition between uh, two versions of Pokemon Go. Uh, the PG Sharp version of Pokemon Go is the one up top, and the uh, Galaxy Store version is the one down below. So you open the one down below, Galaxy Store version. Now, just imagine you're si you're, this account is signed into a Google account, right? So we're going to go to Settings, and we're going to go Confirm that. As you can see, uh, my my incredibly uh, insane account called Stealth Chicken 4. As you can see, it's linked to a Google account, but not a Facebook account. This also this means that I will not be able to log into PG Sharp because PG Sharp currently does not support Google accounts, and they have said that they will not be uh, they will not be they will not be um, supporting Google account logins um, in the near future. So I want to, I do want to apologize. I think in one of my videos I did say that they they do allow for Google logins. Um, that that is wrong. I did clarify that in the comments. That is my bad. If you if you if you bought a key thinking that you could log in with that. But uh, fear not, there is actually a way to do it. So you it, you also need a spare Facebook account, obviously. I mean, you can just make one really, really easily, right? But you need a spare Facebook account. And essentially what you have to do is you, link, you have to link your Google account to a Facebook account. I'll be putting a uh, a word for word text description for this in the description below as well. So it's like a little website. If this video is a little bit too, uh, is this video is a little bit too complex. I mean, I don't think it's that complex, but um, if it's a little bit too hard, then you can go figure that out. So we're going to be logging into, um, we're going to be logging in to a, uh, isn't verified by Samsung pass. All right. See if I can just do this automatically. Cause that'd be cool. Okay. So what I'm doing here is I'm linking that account to a Facebook account. As you can see here now it is linked to a Facebook account. Fantastic. That's exactly what you want, right? So now that the Google and Facebook are both linked to this account, you should be able to sign in to PG Sharp with this account. Now, one thing I would do obviously is um, since one of the things that Niantic does flag uh, as suspicious activities, if you keep logging in and logging out of an, ac uh, of an account, uh, one of the things that I would actually do is clear your data before actually logging out or well, clear the data and then it will log you out, right? But I wouldn't log out and then log into a different application because it, it just it just makes it kind of sus. So now that, now that Stills Chicken 4 is connected to a Facebook account, I should be able to log in to PG Sharp. Now one of the things um, now one of the things that I maybe should have said or maybe should have uh, done at the beginning of the video was actually try to log in with uh, Facebook or with Google instead, but uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. So as you can see here, if I press sign in with Google, uh, unable to sign sign in via Google yet, it is currently not allowed. So we're going to sign in with Facebook. I mean, it's just as simple as that. If you guys are having problems with it, try making um, try making a new account. Obviously, I wouldn't link like if you can sign in on PG Sharp and then try to link it. Obviously, it doesn't work because you know it literally just doesn't support any contact with Google whatsoever. But as you can see here, we are able to log into Stealth Chicken Four, and uh, yeah, we're able to play the game on PG Sharp now, despite it only being on a Google account before. Now this is one of this is one of those things I feel like it's not it's not too difficult but it's just it's one of those videos where I just had to clarify um, something because I did make a video previously where I said that you could log in with a Google account but uh, that is incorrect you have to connect 
a Google account to a Facebook account before you can actually do that. So yeah, this is PG Sharp and I'll show you guys the settings so that you can see that there is a Google account linked to this. As you can see, it says Facebook account linked, Google account linked. So this account currently, you can log in through Google or Facebook. And uh, yeah, that's, that's very, very cool. And uh, yeah, I mean, that, that's essentially the entire video. Remember that for PG Sharp, um, any, any version of Android can use PG Sharp, uh, but do remember that it's a modded version of the APK. And if a band wave comes, it bans everyone. Um, <laughs> I don't think it will come though, because I think one of the main reasons uh, people got banned for spoofing was because it was connected to Google accounts and Google was kind of kind of sus on the band waves. But I think with PG Sharp, we should be fine. Um, and of course, uh, if you if you have that question of are you using on your main? Yes, I am using it on my main. I don't care. Anyway, guys, that's the that's essentially the entire video. If you do get, if you guys do have questions, come to our Discord. We almost have five thousand members there, which is super crazy. Obviously, if you want to support the channel, you can become a member. Also in the description below, you can subscribe if you want. We're almost at twenty thousand subscribers. I was I was gonna I'm I'm gonna do a um, a giveaway at nineteen thousand subscribers, and I'll do a bigger one at 20,000 subscribers. So I'll be giving away PG Sharp keys and probably some accounts uh, that I've leveled up just in the past for no reason because I was bored and they have a bunch of community shinies. So decent decent accounts to have, you know, just for fun. And uh, yeah, if, if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a like, comment down below whether this helped you or not. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Best of luck with the shiny uh, shiny luck this week because this week is actually pretty intense. I'm, I've been hundo, I've been shundo hunting for my route, still unable to get it. And, uh, but hopefully you guys can get that. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the entire video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.